What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. I tell you what, so I'm here as I usually am to give you some feedback on the Miami Dolphins, share with you my comments, share with you where I think this team is at. It just happens to be late afternoon as I make this video, November 12th. Do Dolphins, excuse me, are on a bye. So this is a nice time to kind of take a deep breath, see where we're at, talk about a few things. Feel free to leave me some comments as well. If you do like the content, by the way, this particular video, that would be great. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up. And also, feel free to subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Sports Snippets with Dennis Sullivan. So, as I sit here and put together a few minutes of feedback for you, we have a 6-3 and three football team in the Miami Dolphins that really should be about 6 wins and three losses. I don't see where this team should be any less than that. And if I really want to be honest to myself about the whole situation, I really don't see where this team should be more than that. All we hear now, just listen to sports radio, turn on the television. When the name Miami Dolphins comes up, what do you hear? Well, they can't beat any of the really good teams, you know. They beat six teams with losing records and all this other stuff. And I will say this. here. Let's get this out of the way right off the bat. So I do not argue that. I mean, you can't argue that's a fact. Okay, there is eight games in the regular season remaining. That's an awful lot of football. We've got an awful lot of football left. However, this is how I see it. And you can let me know if I'm being too optimistic. Maybe I'm being too pessimistic. I don't know. How I see it is this, guys. You got four elite teams. Really three. But I'm going to give you four through the first half of the season. That is the two Super Bowl teams from last year. Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles. Then you got San Francisco 49ers, in my opinion, even though they did kind of hit that a funk there for a little bit, they certainly bounced back today. And then I'll throw in the Baltimore Ravens, although I'm really kind of stuck on those three and I'm on the fence a little bit with the Ravens still. Uh, that's just me personally. You hear, you know, I hear on television, I hear on the radio, oh, no, this team is Super Bowl worthy and Super Bowl this and Super Bowl that. I got to see more till we start talking Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. So what does this all mean? This all means that the Dolphins are one of, say, 28 teams of the 32 teams that needs to just really worry about two things in the next eight weeks. And that is, number one, or let's go, number one, winning as many games as possible. And then number two continuing to try to improve your team as we obviously this is not a finished product for the 2023 season and how do we tr we try to improve our team by uh, yeah there's things like we have practice you do things you try to get better during the game coaching staff even gets involved maybe we can call different plays although i think they're doing a pretty good job but good coaching staff's part of this too this team has eight weeks to improve improve it'll start on the 19th with a home game against the Raiders very important game and then don't forget we come back about five days later on that uh, kind of strange Thanksgiving weekend Friday game against the New York Jets two very important games are going to be happening in a matter of six days guys so we got to keep all this in mind now as far as the Dolphins go, when we talk about offense, we talk about defense, we talk about special teams. I really don't have much of an opinion. And here's my recap and thoughts of the first half of the season in each of those categories. I don't have much of an opinion on our special teams. I think it's decent. Um, certainly the acquisition of Braxton Berrios was a positive. This was a step in the right direction. I like him returning the punts. He's good special teams player. He helps out the receiving core as well and helps out the offense as well. Of course, the defense, let me just say this real quick. Going into the Eagles game a few weeks ago, 
I was not very happy with the defense, and I was not very confident with our defense. Even with the ac- the acquisition of Jalen Ramsey, having him get healthy and eventually play against the Chiefs as he did. Um I did not think this defense was very good. However, I have a, I'm feeling better about the situation. Even though the Dolphins have lost two of the last three, they showed me a toughness I did not see and I did not uh, ever witness against the Eagles. I, I'm going to be honest, guys. I thought we were going to get pushed around against the Eagles and to the Chief, against the Chiefs to a certain extent as well, and they didn't. They hung in there. They played tough. They gave up yards, but they were tough yards to earn. And then against the Chiefs, also, we got to be happy with the defensive effort, definitely. They only allowed two scoring touchdowns. As you recall, the deciding touchdown of that game, 21-14 Chief win, was on the uh, fumble return, where the guy took it like a zillion yards for a touchdown. So the defensive effort has improved, and they are getting tougher. They are. They're just they're bearing down. They're not getting pushed around as much uh, with teams that like to run the football up the middle. And when the Chiefs scored on that first drive of the game, they easily drove the ball down the field and scored. I'm thinking, oh, no, this is it. This is going to be uh, – we're going to give up 50 points, maybe more, but no. So it's still a work in progress, that's for sure. It's the Dolphin defense. Dolphin offense, I just got one thing to add for now, and that is – the Dolphins should look to start featuring, targeting a third guy more in throwing the football. You can say Wilson's that guy. Berrios is more, you know, he, he, he's complimentary. I mean, you, you, could, you could target him. You could target both of them if you want. Uh, but here's why I'm saying that. When Waddle, when Jalen Waddle got hurt and he didn't he didn't leave the game though as we recall against the Chiefs you notice how the offense just started to struggle it's like we needed that other guy out there and I think as it is teams are putting so much attention on Tyreek and it kind of comes down to how much can teams get away with in their focused energy and effort on Tyreek Hill because Tyreek Hill, to me, is the heart and soul of this football team. Two is good, don't get me wrong. But Tyreek is what makes this team go. And that's really... Let me, let me kind of just repeat what I said, and I'll close out this video. It's almost... So you got Waddle. We know Waddle's a good receiver. But... Look at the, look at the Bengals. They got... Not that we have to be the Bengals... The Bengals got that third receiver, Boyd, right? He's very good. He's a good number three guy. He could be, he could be a number two on many teams. He could be a number two on many teams, in my opinion. He's very talented. We don't quite have a, uh, a player of that caliber from what I'm seeing. At least, well, it's hard to tell because we don't really feature other receivers much other than Waddle and Hill. So let's get a third guy involved, or you can even combine that between a few, Berrios, Wilson, and get more tar- a little bit more targets to them. How's that? Raheem Mostert is having a fantastic season. He just is. All right? We gotta, he needs 12 to 15 carries. I don't think that's asking too much. 12 to 15 carries consistently a game. No questions asked. He's having a fantastic year. He's a very good season. So... And Tua, as long as he stays healthy, we know he's going to produce. He's a very good quarterback. If he's healthy, if he stays healthy, right? So let me know what you think, guys. Second half of the season is ready to get started on the 19th at home against the Las Vegas Raiders. Still got to get used to saying that. The Las Vegas Raiders. Leave me a comment. I'll talk to you again soon. And bye for now.